One of the presentations I did today was called Picture It, and it focuses on presenting concepts visually, mathematical concepts, but not just presenting pictures to make kids like happy and engaged. Um, presenting pictures that evoke ideas. Um, and I talked to the audience about how important it is not only to uh, have pictures that just everybody will say the same thing, but how important it is to have pictures that I call um, provocative in the sense that different people will respond different ways and they'll learn by the question rather than me just assessing them by asking the question. So a lot of what I shared with teachers today is it didn't matter if you were a kindergarten teacher or if you were a grade 8 teacher or if you were higher, um, that we can present ideas in mathematics visually. Um, what, it, what the value is is not only engagement, but that is a value, but it's also better recall. And there's tons of evidence um, that students do recall things better when they've seen them visually. And it's also what I'm going to call more dramatic. So it's my experience that kids just hear too much stuff in a day, and they can't keep that all in their heads. And so if you really care about an idea, go dramatic, and that'll be the one they keep. So if you have a picture that um, evokes an interesting discussion, that's what they're going to remember. If I just sort of say it in passing, it's not happening. So I try to share um, lots of different kinds of visuals that will help kids see mathematical ideas. Using visuals is also a way for students to communicate. So it's not that I want them to draw a picture of a problem every time I give them a problem, but I want them to represent that problem visually, either with concrete materials or with pictures, so that they see what's going on, and that actually will help them be a better problem solver. So it's kind of a two-way street. I see visuals as important for the teachers to initiate, but I also see visuals as important for the kids to respond with as well as respond to. I think the drama does work for kids. So, um, you know, you'll present a visual and do you see this or do you see this? And there's like disagreement in the room and it's pretty exciting. Um, and then we have a discussion. So like, do you agree with her? Or do you agree with him? Or what do you think? Like, should we take a vote? And all of that is the kind of stuff that kids respond to. Um, I mean, kids are pretty malleable and they like action. And this is essentially action. Mathematics is by its very nature a fairly abstract subject. And part of the role of a teacher is to make it concrete or real. So this is a way to make something that is very abstract real. Um, I don't think any of us, whether we're old or young, um, are so good at seeing things abstractly. We like to kind of pull it into something real that we can make sense with. And I think visuals are a great way for kids to make sense of concepts that are generally pretty abstract and pretty complex. I've co-taught with teachers and we've used some lessons that I've created that were visual. Um, there was one I'm just thinking of that happened this year that I still recall. Um, so there was a kid and um, we had what we called cakes. They weren't cakes, they were shapes. And they had to divide them into fractional pieces and they had to do a bunch of stuff with it. Anyway, one boy had a pentagon cake, which is weird, but he did. And he divided it into three what he called equal pieces. And I said, so do you think those guys are equal? And he said, oh yeah, and so then I'm talking to him. So I said, so, like, do you think if this was chocolate cake, because you told me you like chocolate cake, would you be okay if I took that piece over there? And he said, well, no. And I said, well, why not? And he said, well, because you have more. So I guess you don't think they're equal. So you see kids, like, having to do that makes them see it. If I had given him a piece of paper where things were already pre-divided, none of this happens. Like, they have to do the thinking, and I think, Thinking visually is a powerful way for those kids to think. So that happened to me just this year, and it was because there was something for us to look at that it made so much difference.